I just released yesterday's vlog, which is the construction beginning video. And in doing that, I uh, put it in my highlights playlist for 2017 because it's a huge landmark and change. And then I just noticed in the 2016 highlights, we have this, my VR studio tour. I just find it interesting because right next to each other in two different playlists, we have this video where I show the room that I used for virtual reality that I carefully set up and adapted to my virtual reality filming needs and just how carefully I set it all up and how proud I was of the outcome of that little room you know even though obviously it had its flaws it was leaky and uh, you know very limited in space for anything like mixed reality or anything other than the limited VR filming that I did in here and then we have the video I released yesterday where that is what remains of that room it no longer exists <laughs> and uh, it's just going to be completely non-existent any. It's just a pile of rubble and we're turning it into something cooler but you know it's just it's really interesting. I get super nostalgic really easily and it's, it's just funny seeing those two things next to each other because it sort of encapsulates how I, I feel about content and life and you know what I mean like it's all about the moment and that first video where I was showing off the nice room and I was working hard to make it work you know and then almost as if it never existed we have the non-existence of the room you know and there's been for example so much that's happened in front of this wall and yet deep down inside even though it hurts to think about one day this won't exist. I don't mean to be depressing, but I think like understanding that and just acknowledging that as you make your plans and you, you're ambitious and you have, you know, things go well or things don't go well. I think it makes you appreciate the moment more. You know what I mean? I think like when we had the arty party and, and I knew that even though it was so much work and it was so chaotic when it was happening, that it would be over. And it makes you be there and be present and really soak it in and, uh, I think it also makes you excited for what comes next. I guess that's the optimist in me too. So even though this may not be here one day, maybe there'll be something better. And that's, that's what I like to think about. That's what I like to work towards. Anyways, that's a super nostalgic, sentimental way to start off today's vlog. Um, hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a lot of editing. So there's not really much to show, so it's probably more interesting to you that I just talk sentimentally anyway. <laughs> Further enhancing the weirdness of that nostalgic thought is the fact that today most of my time is going to be spent editing footage taken within a room that no longer exists as of yesterday. <laughs> it's so surreal. I guess just surreal that I can't go out to that room again and like, I don't know, if I needed to grab a photo or take some extra footage or do another VR video exactly like this. I can't do it anymore. It's gone. This, these two VR videos are going to be the last of their kind filmed in this space. It's really tripping me out. <laughs> so I've just restarted my computer because Premiere kept crashing. Well, it wasn't actually crashing this time. It was, uh, I mean, first of all, it's taking a lot of RAM to do the editing of the multi-camera VR stuff. Then instead of crashing it, actually the screen would just stop moving. So I could still play and the audio would play, but I couldn't see anything. It would either go black or just stay still on a frame. So that was really annoying. I was hoping to get more done today than I'm going to be able to get done, but it turns out I'll at least hopefully be able to edit one video. And I think that's going to be about the extent of it. So. Computer's turned back on again. I uh, turned it off to go eat a banana. And hopefully let the computer just chill out a bit in case that was part of the problem. And now I'm gonna get back to work and cross my fingers. No, it's still doing it. Yeah. There you go, it's just gone black. It was frozen yeah. before, like it was playing the audio, but the, the video just was stayed still. So fortunately I can save and it does save where I'm up to and it doesn't keep this problem if I close and open it again or if I just wait and it solves itself, but I'm also a bit impatient. So waiting for like a minute for it to catch up is not something I like doing. <sighs> Let's try this again. The fundraiser surpassing our goal so much couldn't be more fortunate because stuff like this will be solved as a result by getting a computer that can handle what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Unfortunately, Mrs. Jazza and MJ have come down with a little bit of sickness 
MJ threw up a few times last night and both of them feel absolutely rubbish today. So Mrs. Jazz is gonna have a lie down and MJ is watching in the night garden. But nothing quite helps when you're sick like a little bit of feel better chicken soup. MJ's asleep and Mrs. Jazz is inside hanging out on her own because I've had to come in and finish tomorrow's video because the computer keeps being crap and it's still here we are this I'm doing that thing where it's not showing the thing it doesn't do it all the time I mean I got through a good 15 minutes without it doing that but still it's really frustrating because I just needed to get one video done today that was all I had to do my computer has not been able to handle it. And it's just a 1080p edit with like, I don't know, four different camera shots that I'm trying to work with. And it's got other stuff like some filters and stuff that, you know, I guess a bit too processor heavy for my little machine to manage. <sighs> okay, fortunately it didn't take up too much of my evening so I can go in and watch a show with Mrs. Jazza. Uh, so it's rendering it. I'm gonna take a question of the day, which comes from Patrick Hartel, who says, as a boy in America, I find it hard to express my passion for art and animation. I don't really tell anyone. I mean, I love sports and all, but I've always loved art and animation. However, it seems at my age, 12, art is more of a girl thing, at least where I'm from. Do you have any tips to express my passion without being judged? That's a very interesting question. I empathize with your position. I have been in that position when I was in high school, there were all the cool footy kids, the blokey dudes, I suppose you'd call them jocks or whatever. Um, you know, I'd get a, I'd cop a bit of flack. I didn't really have any friends and I got a bit of bullying, you know, and, uh, and you know, on occasion they'd call me gay or they'd tease me about this or that, you know, because I was interested in music and art. But here's what it comes down to. At the end of the day, you're going to make a choice out of two things. One, the approval of your peers, which is temporary and kind of meaningless. Or two, the passion you were born with. I have not seen a single one of my peers in person since I graduated high school. Their former judgments have zero effect on me or impact in my long-term happiness. And following the latter option and just finding my passion and chasing that regardless of what other people thought about me, even if it meant I was not cool, was what made me super happy in the long term. I mean, look, where I am isn't an accident. I didn't happen to have my cake and eat it too. I was not the cool kid in high school, but I'm doing what I love for a living. And I kind of am skeptical about the idea of many of those bullies being in a position like that. I mean, maybe they are, but I don't know. I feel like if you live your life searching for the approval of people who actually don't matter or even care about you, you're never gonna win. So my advice to you as a 12 year old is do what makes you happy. And honestly, at the age of 12, like there shouldn't be that amount of intense pressure. And if these so-called potential friends are potentially making you feel guilty for enjoying something that they deem less masculine than they approve of, then they're obviously not very good friends. <laughs> Who cares what they think? You're 12 years old. Don't rush it. Don't feel pressure. Just enjoy your passion. And I have a feeling that if you just are true to yourself and uh, you find happiness in that, then you'll find some good friends too who find happiness in being your friend too, because, you know, that's how you find true friends. Anyways, that'll do for today, guys. Uh, render's nearly done. I'm gonna go inside and relax a bit. I'm up for an early morning tomorrow, and I have a TV news crew over from New Zealand to interview me, so that's interesting. <laughs> I'll see you then.